If you thought the Transformers were only in the flicks, you have actually never ever been to Lake Havasu City on the California-Arizona boundary. The Colorado River punctures the desert traveler place, yet up on the north end of town, an airport terminal garage holds what appears like Optimus Prime's larger as well as more badass older brother, Thor 24. Dreamed up by Southern California land programmer Mike Hara as well as constructed over a seven-year period by Hara with Tim Spinks and also Paul Abram, the vehicle has a lot taking place it's difficult to concentrate on simply one element. It's safe to claim, nevertheless, each information is as excellent as the next. Huge Mike, as he's called, stands 6 feet 5 inches high and has a character to match as you'd expect from the individual behind a wild truck where whatever has been magnified to 11. The engines command most of your preliminary interest their twin 12V712 stroke Detroit diesel motor for 24 total cylindrical tubes mated nose to nose and covered with 8 BDS 8 to 71 superchargers. This Detroit diesel motor has a long, crucial background as commercial and aquatic power plants, as well as each 12V71 comes stock with twin roots type blowers situated in between the cylinder financial institutions which means Thor has a total amount of 12 blowers. The build team identified exactly how to butt the engines along with a spline shaft, giving the new, dual engine format a final variation of 1704 cubic inches or an extraordinary 27.9 liters. After using a wooden dollar to help create the large consumption manifold, it was eventually crafted from thick lightweight aluminium plate and afterwards set up to hold eight superchargers driven off a solitary personalized drive shaft. That shaft is 103 inches long as well as evaluates 263 extra pounds all on its own, and also it runs longitudinally inside the manifold's airbox above the engines. The top of the manifold is likewise the base for eight NOS nitrous containers. The engines breathe out with 24 Zumi type exhaust headers, and also Hera states that, at 2,500 revolutions per minute, the engines produce 3,424 horsepower. In the high performance world of blowers as well as huge engines, that could not sound like a lot yet the setup looks amazing and the audio is out of this world. The 44-foot-long, 30,000-pound truck's powertrain also includes a chromed Allison HT740 transmission that rotates a locker-type back axle that's been entirely ground-smooth, filled, as well as chrome. To be honest, almost every little thing on this vehicle which is based around a 1979359 Peterbilt taxicab is either chromed or covered in a wild paint task. The supply Peterbilt semi-truck front suspension as well as guiding would not function Hera wanted to be able to transform as well as steer it in a smaller distance so Thor includes a Van Hula arm kind shock absorber typically made use of in buses and also instructors. The chassis itself is made from twin 4x14 inch sections of rectangular tubing with 3 8 inch thick walls, the tubes are 40 feet long and sustain a Peterbilt air fall and leave suspension. The gear likewise trips on Alcoa lightweight aluminum wheels wrapped in 315 30s R22.5 tires up front as well as an 11 R24.5S at the rear. The taxi is even more of a command facility for the vehicle's whole operation and also is packed with things to ogle, switches over to toss, and also gauges to see. There are no fewer than 24 autometer gauges in the polished aluminum instrument panel, with large Mike's profile engraved in the center, which rests ahead of a four-spoke guiding creation's guiding wheel. Amongst the readouts, a 200 mph speedometer, a 6000 rpm tachometer, as well as a handful of stress as well as blower evaluates, six extra blower stress assesses are installed in the middle of the dashboard. Twin Moon Impact lightweight aluminum pedals are fitted, as well as Lake Havasu's main stitch obtained the call to cover the interior with black diamond stitch upholstery for the headliner, dark gray industrial carpeting on the floor, as well as black natural leather for the front bucket seats and also rear bench seats. Multipoint Simpson Platinum racing belts are mounted for both motorist and traveler. Big Mike likes his stogies, and also a special pocket in the chauffeur's door frame allows him to carry a box of his preferred Padron 1926 collection No. 9 all-natural cigars. In between the pails is a Conan-style double-edged broadsword one of lots of found around the vehicle, together with dozens of chromed heads as well as some axes that functions as the truck's shifter. The front guest door of the stretched and expanded aluminum cab opens up Lambo style off a pin mounted behind a broadax on the taxicab's outside. 
An additional broadsword placed in between the front and also back doors is just for decor. Looking forward around the rows of blowers is a little bit of a trick, however in the cab as well as above the chauffeur are four 4x6 video clip screens that are used to see what's on the roadway ahead of Thor. Home entertainment is readily available in the team section of the taxicab, which has a 40-inch TV display and a 1,500-watt stereo. Mounted behind the cab is a Hawker jet helicopter engine that powers supporting generator for the vehicle. Another personalized enhancement is the enormously large and elegant 1933 Ford-inspired aluminum grille, fabricated in California by Marcel's Custom Steel. The whole semi was covered with PPG Envirobase waterborne sweet red paint used by Glenn Bohannon at Brothers Auto Body in Lake Havasu City that was followed up with multi-colored flames as well as a fantastic graphics scheme that included murals from SKC Customs and traditional pinstriping by Havasu's Chris Sneed. Seeing this truck when traveling must evoke the same feeling folks had when Howard Hughes flew his H-4 Hercules aka the Spruce Goose in southern the Golden State's Long Beach Harbor in 1947, as it's strange to see something so large relocating under its very own power, jumping a little bit to the rhythm of the idling blowers and also the 40-foot framework gently torquing backwards and forwards as it rolls on by. However, as Big Mike claims, the issue isn't getting it up above 100 miles per hour, it's stopping it once you do. We imagine it would be like trying to quit a freight train, only without the railroad tracks. But it does have four 12-foot Simpson drag parachutes packed across the rear bumper just in case. If this development isn't impressive sufficient, back in the hangar where Mike parks this beast is one more similarly sized extended semi in the middle of the building. This one, currently nicknamed Medusa, is a mid-engine, with another twin 1-2 V7-1 layout, a drag racing variation of Thor. Mike Hera absolutely fantasizes large, as well as we cannot wait to see both gears with each other down the line.